And I'm Kyler. Welcome to our last middle school newscast for this year. Let's go to the student life update first. Woke up on the right side of the bed. What's up with this Prince song inside my head? Hands up if you're down to get down tonight. Where all my keys, I left my phone. phone. Looks like it's been a busy week so far. Now let's check out the announcements for next week. Monday, May 28th is Memorial Day, so we do not have school. Tuesday, May 29th, there's nothing going on. And on Wednesday, May 30th, it's the last day of school. Have a great summer, Aces. Now that announcements are done, let's check out what the 8th graders got to do in D.C. Hey, That was pretty cool, everyone. Hey, Will, remember when I turned two? No, I don't, actually. I don't either. Well, let's go see who does with Maddie and Veronica. Remember when everyone thought that Mr. Simple and Mrs. Leone was married? <laughs> remember when Mr. K's homework assignments answers were all in Quizlet? Okay, a very funny moment I remember in eighth grade is that when Tyler was in the water, he got yelled at by Mrs. Reese. <laughs> Remember when Logan kept falling asleep during Mr. Sewell's second period English class? <laughs> Remember when Emma broke up hot in Mr. Stevens' class in the morning? <laughs> Those were some good times. They sure were. Now let's go to Ben to check out some ideas to do this summer. Hi, Ben here with Summer Ideas. And today I'm going to be showing you Two sports that you could be playing during summer, basketball and football.
Thanks, Ben. I'm glad it's getting warmer outside. Me too. Let's go see what it's like for this weekend's weather with Jackson and Josh. Hey, Aces. I'm Jackson. And I'm Josh. Here with your weather. On Wednesday, there's a high of 83 to low of 65, partly cloudy. On Thursday, there's a high of 83, a low of 65, with participation. <laughs> Friday, it is sunny and a high of 85 and a low of 64. On Saturday, it is sunny with a high of 86 and a low of 64. Thanks for listening. Goodbye now. Thanks, guys. Now let's go to Shelby and Taylor. They're going to be giving us some, ad some advice for next year's seventh graders. Hi, I'm Taylor, and I'm here with... Tyler. Tyler, what's your advice for incoming seventh graders? Be organized. Make sure you get your work done on time. Get good grades. And don't mess around with teachers. Morgan, what is your advice for incoming seventh graders? Don't fall asleep in Mr. Freeze's home base during stars. Oh, really? Hi, I'm Shelby, and I'm here with... Dawson. Dawson, do you have any advice for the incoming seventh graders? Um, be organized, mess with Mr. Shufel as much as you can, and don't do drugs. Harry, do you have any advice for the incoming seventh graders? Um, it's not that hard. Try, do your best. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> Destiny, what's your advice for any incoming seventh graders? Um, stay out of drama and choose the right friends. And work hard to keep your grades up and for sports and stuff. Save the drama for your llama. <laughs> Terrified. Oh, well. All right, what's up? Mr. Clausen, do you have any advice for the incoming seventh graders? Shower, use deodorant, and don't do anything stupid. That's all I got. That work? Thanks. No, hopefully, their advice was helpful for everyone. Let's celebrate the end of the school year, thank goshness, with everyone's birthday, with Ronnie and Maddie. We sing happy birthday to you, and may all your dreams Happy, happy birthday! Oh, 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 oh. This is your birthday song. Oh, 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 oh. Celebration all night long. Oh, 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 oh. May all your dreams come true. Happy birthday, everyone. We hope you all have an amazing birthday. Let's check out what people will be doing this summer with Macy and Emma. What do you plan on doing this summer, Morgan? Sleeping. That's nice. What yeah. are you get <laughs> Are you going to watch some Netflix too? You know it. So what are your plans for summer? We're going to go to Mexico in June. That's awesome. Have fun. So, where are you going this summer? To Disney World. Sweet. You even got the shirt. That's awesome. What do you guys plan on doing this summer? I'm going to Florida. I'm also going to Florida. I'm going to Tennessee. Yeehaw! <laughs> <laughs> so what are your plans for the summer? Um, I might go to Washington, D.C., go to Maryland, and then West Virginia. That's fun. Hope you guys have a good summer. Now let's go to Taylor and Ronnie for the ultimate roasting challenge with Mr. Freeze. Oh. Hi, I'm Taylor, and this week I'll be showing you how great of a teacher Mr. Freeze is. Can I have a marker? No, I don't like you. <laughs> Jackson, give me your phone. Why? You've been on it this whole time. I know you have. No, I haven't. Zero tolerance. Give it here. Detention. Hi, I'm Emma here with Shelby. Guys, 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 you don't have to say that every single time. Oh my goodness. Do it again. Do it again. Hi, I'm here with Joe. Oh, you can't say that. You, have to, you can't say hi. You already said hi. Let's do a joke. You can't say joke either. It's going to offend somebody. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what can I say? I'm t mm -hmm. Oh, good, good. <laughs> <laughs> Shelby, what kind of font is that? Helvetica. You need to change it. You do this every single week. What are you working on? Homework. What homework? Math. Is this math class? 
No. Then why are you working on your video production? I'm done. Oh. Why didn't you ask me then? Jackson, where's my lunch menu? I don't know. You used it last for lunch. It's your lunch menu, not mine. You should know where it is. What is that right there? That's my lunch menu. Well, it's my lunch menu now. Hi class, everyone get their work done? Mm. Josh, it's the third week in the row you didn't get your work done. Zero. Everybody had a good day? Okay. Are you on Snapchat? Mm-hmm. Give me your phone, you're not supposed to be on Snapchat, you didn't ask me. Mm. <laughs> you have two lunch attentions. Mm. Yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah. Were you texting your mom or were you on Snapchat? Mom. <laughs> What were you texting her about? Lunch. Did you ask me about that? PB and J. Where's Mr. Freeze at? Way to be late to class. That was hilarious, guys. Let's have one last laugh with the Vine of the Week brought to you by Jumping Jackson, Jogging Josh, and Crippled Kyler. Country boy, I love you. Country boy, I love you. Look at this graph. Look at this graph. <laughs> <laughs> You are dad. You are dad. Hi, I'm Shelby, and I'm here with the 2018 Hicksville Shake winner, Shaylee Miller. And we're gonna ask you a couple questions just about the shake and everything. What would you give it, what kind of advice would you give to the upcoming sixth graders? Um, I would just say like be confident, but, but like don't be overconfident. And like if you're gonna be nervous, which everybody is, like be a little nervous, but don't be like super nervous that like you're freaking out and just like be yourself. Okay, what were some of the challenging things that you had to do during it? Some of the challenging things we did were minute to win it questions and working the room because um, we had to work the room for 15 minutes and there was five of us and only four judges so it was hard to kind of like balance our time. Okay, what were some of the easier parts that you thought were easy? Um, some of the easier parts I think were kind of round one because nobody was watching you. You were like in this little like room with like a curtain and you just like were in there with you and then the judge. Okay, thank you. If you guys see her around the hallway, congratulate her on being first place. Hey guys, I'm here with the 2018 County Shake winner. Hello, I'm Rylan Basso. And we're just here to ask you a couple questions about it. What were some of the easier parts about it? Um, some of the easier parts about it is they gave us a little more wide of time than the Hicksville Shake because we had to go for the first round, we had to do 10 judges, we had to work the room for an hour time. So it was kind of hard to compete for a spot, but still they gave us more time. Okay, what were some of the challenging, something challenging about it? Um, something challenging is probably getting your turn to talk because there were so many people there. Okay, so what else, what advice would you give to anybody going to do it? The advice I would give is work the room, be polite, share your ideas, especially like we did the debate for the second round. Share your ideas to make sure your team wins and just pretty much be an overall good sport. All right, thank you. Thank you. Hi guys, I'm here with Mr. Farrell and he's gonna give you his opinion about the shake. 
I think it's really good for kids to do, and I was really proud of all of them. I thought all of our kids represented themselves well at the County Shake. Thank you. Oh, the joys of life. Yes, indeed. Sadly, our final newscast is coming to an end. This is Will and Kyler signing out. Bye. Bye.